Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth of ERW Plans. That's erwplans.com. On Instagram, ERW underscore plans. And now on Etsy, ERW Plans. Today, we're gonna do a plan with me for the first week of March. First, we'll look at the tools that we're using today. We're going to be using stickers from Chelsea Brown Designs. We have her glitter stickers in emerald for the days of the week. We have a Sunday start kit in the March um, colors. We also have a Sunday start kit in the Julia color palette. And we have our um, timeline Sunday start dates of the week stickers. We also have our planner here in our Cocoa Paper Bold B5 cover in a light jade and our ocean blue passion planner. We will also be using our silhouette spatula tool and our slice tool with the ceramic blade. If you've already watched our video, you know that we've already installed a um, Dutch door flippy page with the to-do list on one side and the finance sheet on the other. And I'm very excited to announce that in our new Etsy store, you'll be able to buy these two-sided Dutch door sheets to print yourself so that you won't have to make them on your own. Now, let's get started. For this week's plan with me, we're going to be using two different kits. We are going to be using Chelsea's Julia Weekly. We're going to be using the Sunday Start um, March kit, weekly kit as well. Just because I like to mix and match things up. As some of you may know, I have a um, weird synesthesia about my months. They have to be certain colors. Everything in March has to be green. It's just a thing. I can't explain it, it's fine. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix and match these kits to make one mostly green monthly kit. As I've discussed in other videos when I'm doing my planning, I like to plan top down. So we're gonna start upside down. I'm going to be using the purple here as basically an accent color for this month. So we will start with our washi covers. You can use your spatula if you want to line the color up properly. I find for larger pieces that I don't need to line it up as much with the precision of that tool. I can pretty much just get it on with my fingers. And then the tool is more for smaller, more fiddly bits. Um, once again, remember that Chelsea stickers are not removable. So make sure before you start pressing down that you have the proper fit. If something like this little hanging bit is going to bother you, you can always take your slice tool and cut that or use scissors to cut before you finish putting that down. When I do the other side, I'm gonna line it up on the opposite side because I want my edges to be nice and clean going straight down. So we're just going to line this up here. I don't want to have a white gap between my washi tape top. And the monthly sticker that will go there, even though the monthly sticker is slightly bigger. So it should take care of that gap. I don't want to risk it. So there's our monthly. I'm going to, at this point, grab my D's of the week. And those I will use the spatula to put on here. If I was going to use the Today's Focus covers, I would put them on before putting these on, but I'm not gonna use those Today's Focus covers on this particular design. So we're, I wanna use these functionally. So we're gonna leave those empty and we're just gonna go ahead and start stickering. Now 
Now that I have my weekly affirmation sticker on and I have my days of the week on, I can go ahead and put these stickers on as well. These are leftover classic size um, rose gold foil stickers from Chelsea Brown Designs, but they actually fit the boxes really well for the pro. So we're gonna go ahead and use these to date my planner. Now that we have our days of the week stickers on the top and our weekly affirmation on the side, we can go ahead and line up our week 10 sticker. Now we're going to use the weekly timeline covers from the Julia kit to do our timeline covers. For the bottom covers, we're going to use a washi strip. These are the ones that are supposed to go on the top for this particular monthly, but we're gonna use them to actually cover up the bottom here because I do not divide my timelines or my to-do lists by personal and work. So we'll just use one here, flip my panel over, Use this one over here. If you, you could also use a different full page sticker here, but I put in my Dutch door first, so that's not an option for me this time around. And if you wanna know how to put in a Dutch door, you can check out my previous video, which will show you exactly how to put in our little flippy Dutch door here. And there we are. Our first week of March is set.